At ease, soldier. No road rage. Someone's trying to bump me off. Metal wig? <laughs> yes. Go, go, go! Metal to the pedal, Miko! Go, Jack! Go! No way! Brass scorching us! Prime? Do you read me? I'm sorry, Agent Fowler. Optimus isn't here at the moment. Then I'll take that as a confirmation that he's presently trying to run me off the road. Agent Fowler, that hardly seems likely. Tell that to my burning treads. Crimes don't run. Yes, that's it. Follow the light. Uh, wait, what? Oh. 
Not the best choice of words, Ratchet. RC, are you all right? Sure. Except for being blindsided by Optimus. Didn't I tell you? Impossible. I'm only reporting what I saw. Why would Optimus try to knock off Agent Fowler? Maybe Optimus believes he's a Decepticon all over again. Or he's been faking being a good guy all this time. If Prime has gone off the rails for any reason, we have a serious problem. This is absurd. A quick check for Optimus's signal will reveal that he's nowhere near the location of tonight's incident. In fact, he's just returning now. Is something wrong? We were just... wondering where you've been. We haven't been able to reach you. I have been outside of our communication range. Whoa. Easy! In a subterranean energon deposit. Come on, it's our guy. Can't you tell? We're... sorry. Don't blame them, Prime. I was attacked earlier tonight, out on the open highway by a big rig. One that bore a striking resemblance to you. message. Fowler. What? That's not possible. I can tell you sure as there are 50 stars on my Star Spangled shorts, it isn't him. All in military bases under attack by Optimus Prime. The truck? The bot. inflict human casualties. No 
told General Bryce, Optimus Prime did not attack our boys. Because I was with Prime when I received the alert. Yes, sir. The Autobots were at your base, but only in response to the initial attack. But, sir, I... Yes, sir. I understand. So what's the damage? <sighs> all military personnel are under strict orders to destroy any and all bots on site. Are you kidding? But th they're innocent. Optimus was framed. Though unfortunate, the military order changes nothing. Our imposter clearly poses a grave threat to humanity. A 30-foot-tall transforming imposter. They actually did it. Those butchers managed to crack the code. Mech. or latency issues? The telepresence interface performed flawlessly in vehicular and robot mode. Mech abducted Breakdown and by all indications deconstructed him from cranial chamber to heel strut. I was there. And we know that more recently they obtained Starscream's T-Cog. Which they evidently installed in a knockoff of you. Which in turn scanned an appropriate vehicle form. Fill the tank with energy, on. And say hello to Nemesis Prime. So where do we start? Mech's base could be anywhere. Not necessarily. While Mech may have learned much of our biology, they haven't necessarily absorbed our technology. Without access to a ground bridge, Nemesis Prime would rely solely on its vehicle mode for transportation. Chances are the mech base is within driving distance of both incidents. What are we waiting for? Let's get out there and mash mech's little science project. Agent Fowler, I do not think it advisable to put yourself in harm's way of mech's robot again. Well, I'm not sure it's advisable for bots to be running recon with the military out there gunning for you. We will maintain vehicular cover until absolutely necessary. Nothing but tumbleweeds. Just a whole lot of empty. Bumblebee, proceed with utmost caution. Reconnaissance only. We will rendezvous at your coordinates. The Autobots are persistent. Time to meet their match. Bumblebee. Be on your guard. My double could be anywhere. I'm sorry, what? Bumblebee, do you read? Fan out. And beware of anything that might resemble me.
If I can isolate the control frequency of the remote link Silas is employing, I should be able to pinpoint his exact position. Remote link? You didn't think Mech possessed the ability to build a completely autonomous robot, did you? I was hoping Silas would be operating the bot from inside because one punch from Bulkhead and Booyah! Aha! Uh -huh. Frequency isolated. Then reopen that bridge. Agent Fowler, did you not hear Optimus advise against your involvement? It's for your own safety. Look, Doc, I don't plan on dancing with any bots, but there's a human element in play here. And in case you haven't noticed, I happen to be a highly trained, government-grade human. Yeah, but Silas tried to run him off the road. It's personal. Optimus Prime, we meet again. The deception ends here, Silas. Does it? I think I'm gonna toss the breakfast I ate back in flight school. Agent Fowler, the control frequency is transmitting from a structure 100 meters due north. Copy that. This is all your strength, speed, and firepower. Add my extensive combat training, and Mech has clearly achieved the perfect meld of man and machine. difference between you and me? My body can't feel pain. This is just the beginning. Imagine an army of transforming robots. No one will stand against the newly rebooted mech. Think again, Psy. Agent Fowler, in the flesh at last. And I'm pulling the plug on your video game. Ex-military? Special tactics. You? Army Rangers. Retired, clearly. I may be out of shape, but I don't need to bust you up. I just need to buy Prime a little time. That would be our boys. I advise you to get back to base, Prime. I'll handle Uncle Sam.
So how weird was it to see someone who looked exactly like Optimus kicking the scrap out of you? <sighs> it's a sight I won't soon forget. The question remains whether Mech will continue to function as we know it without its leader. Well, here's the kicker. We sifted through the wreckage with a fine-tooth comb and couldn't find any trace of Silas. The internal damage to his organs is massive and beyond the scope of conventional medicine. Fortunately for our leader, Mech is anything but conventional. <laughs>